Right, people, so we've got a Vauxhall Corsa bumper in here. There was damage, uh, there was a split right the way through the middle there, so plastic welded it up, filled it. <clears throat> now we're in the booth ready to put some plastic primer over the bare plastic. And then we're going to add some primer. Um, I'll put a picture in at the end of the priming of the split that was in the bumper so you can see what was repaired Right, so we're using um, an eye water. It's an air gunza for primer. Uh, it's a 1.6, I think, so it could be a bit bigger, but it gets the job done. Um, so, yeah, first coat of primer on real light uh, over both areas, and we'll let that flash off, and then we'll chuck on. I think I'll put on this three, three nice heavy coats. Um, just to make it as smooth as you can. Give us a nice, so nice bit of primer to block us. out um, once it's dry. So yeah, I'll let you watch me stick this on three coats and then, uh, yeah. Right, so we're now back in the booth. We've flattened it all down, um, blocked off, bumpers all masked up, put a little aerosol primer on, some little bare plastic rub throughs. Um, yeah, and we'll just show you what we do, base and clear. So we're using a uh, water base, base coat. Um, I'd like to put a real light coat on first, as you know, if you've watched other videos. Yeah, there is other videos if you haven't seen them, so go have a watch. Like, subscribe if you can, please. Um, yeah, we're using a um, Welcome Slim Combat 1.3, spraying about 
8 bar so we'll put one nice light dust coat on then we'll go two heavy coats and a drop coat even it all out and we're only painting the bumper so we're trying to stay away from both edges just color the middle um because it weren't in for any blends and uh, just damaged dead in the middle so yeah so we're just drying that off with a gun the first light coat um and then the next coats we'll put the booth on flash off and let it flash off in between coats so yeah um I'll show you the gun at the end, what we're using, and um, we're going to use that for clear coat as well, just to show you that you don't have to have a million guns to do the job. Um, like I say this gun's going to do the base and the clear, so, so yeah, keep watching.
right so now we've uh, we've seen all the base coat on getting the clear coat on now so we're going to go around and do all the edges um, and then I just like to go over from, from one corner to the other really so we'll go across side to side now and make a first coat a nice wet coat and once I get to sort of the center I'll stop and I'll go around and do the center section in the other direction and then we'll come back to the other side and do that the same as we just did this side um, getting it nice and wet um, we'll do the same for the second coat but a little bit heavier um, and then we'll come back Right, and that's it. Um, so we'll get to grab the camera off a stand um, and just show you round. Um, there's a few stone chips on either end of the bumper because, like I say, obviously we didn't we didn't prep that for colour. Um, 
It's just so it matches the wings. Car's a bit of a shitter, really, to be honest. So anything will be better than it was. And then, like I say, you see the repair was in the middle at the top. Nice finish on it. Um, like I say, use the same gun for base and clear. So yeah, it came out nice. I think the customer will be happy. We painted it with the top grill in. Um, obviously, we put the grill in before we painted it, just to make sure that the bumper didn't split when banging the grill in again. Um, so just mask the top grill up, as you can see. Yeah, and then I'll show you a picture of the gun that we used in a minute. Um, I'll say Walcom Slim Combat. Um, base and clear, it's a brilliant little gun, cheap as well, I think it's about 180 quid.